So today, viewers, we are chatting with Sahira Khan uh, with the support of her interpreter, Irina. My first question to you, Sahira, is actually, can you just give us a little bit of an introduction as to who you are? Hello, my name, um, this is my sign name. My name is Sahira Khan. I'm a freelance writer, creator, actress, filmmaker, and YouTuber. Um, so I work on a freelance basis and have been doing such a while, and that's who I am. With that huge string of things that you do, uh, what what point did you become an artist? How did you get involved in so many different areas of the arts? Right, I'll try to remember from the beginning. So my, I'm a very creative person and I have been, I've done this for over 10 years now. I first started as a writer. I was really interested in script writing and I wanted to know about how to deliver a story. So I attended a short course just to get some more information and I learned about it and I felt really confident and I started writing. Then I was interested in filmmaking, so that's how that developed. And then I was also interested in acting. So slowly I gradually built up my build it up my work. Um, and it's been going on well for about 10 years. I started self-employment around two to three years ago now. So I think I've been self-employed for three years. I'm still self-employed now. At the moment, working from home, sometimes I travel to work, but I really enjoy being self-employed. And that's how I got into the creative world. Before we move on to more positive stuff, just wondered, have you experienced any barriers in getting to where you want to be now, you know, from uh, any aspect? Yes, yes, there have been barriers. So when I started working in the creative industry, um, the, the first barrier was my English because I didn't have a support worker at that time. So there is an interpreter that was supporting me. However, I didn't have any sort of support in terms of access to work. So access to work back then was it set up. Um, so in terms of filmmaking and acting, it gradually, I worked on that gradually. As a creative, I had lots of um, discussions with deaf organizations, and that was really easy in terms of communication. But working with hearing people was quite difficult, but then looking at different forms of communication. So when I started working as a freelancer, I was able to apply to access to work. And access to work was extremely supportive. It made my work um, go a lot more quicker and to gain access. Well, that's really, really good news to hear. Um access to work can be a really great help when it comes through. Oh. Yes, definitely, I agree. Um, just because access to work has supported me and make sure I've got the interpreters um, looking at my English, I can meet hearing people with interpreters as well. So my career has definitely progressed. Um, so it's a real privilege um, to have access to work. At the moment, I've had that for three years now. So. I'm hoping it can continue, hopefully. So you've been self-employed for about three years. Um, obviously at that point, 18 months in became COVID. But actually, can you tell me if you actually managed to have any positive experiences with your work through the COVID period? So um, the positives of COVID, I mean, positives of the work. Yeah. Yes, so there have been positives. I, so I received three grants. Uh, one grant was from Together 12, which was amazing. Um, so I was able to have that grant to support my performance called The Cockerel and the Fox. And I was part of the Together 2012 interview, the poetry, and other things. So, you know, I've worked really well with Together um, 2012, which has been amazing. The second fund was from Foundation Future London, and that was linked through the Westfields. And they that fund had supported with <clears throat> Cockrell and the Fox 
to make that into a digital platform. So that was really amazing. And it was such a great experience, really exciting. And the last fund is from Definitely Theatre. So I had written a short play called No Words. Um, and it was such a positive experience. It's the first time that I received these grants. But also in terms of being a freelancer, you know, there's work that's delivered on Zoom and it's popped up, which is really good. There's a few face-to-face uh, -face bookings that I've had. So I've worked um, in a music video. I was part of a music video as well uh, called Fever. Just check with the interpreter if it was that correct. Uh, so it was with artists Dua Lipa and Anjali. So that was such an amazing experience. I was part of the music video, had a small part in that, but it was fantastic. And there has been positives during COVID. Um, most of it is working from home, which has been beneficial. And of course you get to spend time with your, your baby. Yes, yes. But before um, my baby was born, there was a lot of work that uh, had come up. And then since the birth, there's still some work that I am doing online um, through Zoom. I didn't expect any work to come through, but I have been receiving lots of work. So it's been quite busy. And that's great, which kind of leads me to the last question I'm going to ask, which is, um, you know, what are you doing currently? And kind of what is your plan for the, you know, the upcoming few months, maybe 18 months? So yes, I hope to continue um, continuing on No Words, so developing the story and also working on The Cockroach and the Fox. So thinking about children activities, maybe doing a book, um, a version of a book possibly. Also, I'm working on a short comedy, um, a film short comedy and a short documentary just about my journey so and also just still looking for work as a freelancer you know still finding what's available i hope to develop more of my writing you know writing and developing more stories and just to continue i've got so many projects piling up um but i also work on vlogs on youtube and that's things that i would be focused on and possibly applying for some more grants as well it's amazing and glad that you are so busy and so positive looking forward thank you so much for your time today um, and we will finish by showing your filmed poetry of the together poem so thank you thank you you're welcome thank you very much as well why together Why Together by Sahira Khan. Why together is important. Do you understand what together is? Together. No need to answer. But together is one community together, to support each other, to care for each other, to avoid fighting and war, to avoid politics and injustice. Do you get it? Together, peace, love and freedom. To be happy, laugh and relax. Together is one community. Together forever. Together. Why Together by Sahira Khan. Her poem published in Together 2020 Poetry Anthology. Together 2012.